If you are just starting out your online affiliate marketing business, the ClickFunnels software may be an expensive tool for you to use. ClickFunnels is like the Apple iPhone for sales funnel. It is easy to use, straightforward to set up, but it's not that flexible and it costs a lot of money when compared with the features it offers. One of the type of landing pages you can create with ClickFunnels is a quiz landing page. You probably already know how quiz pages can be engaging and can easily pre-sell products on ClickBank or any other affiliate network. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a quiz type landing page for free. Hi, I'm Winston the Solopreneur Warrior and in this video, I'm going to show you a website that you can use to create a quiz landing page for free like this. Quiz landing pages can help you build your email list to promote your affiliate products or easily pre-sell people to your affiliate offer. Additionally, sometimes the answers you collect from a quiz page can help you segment and understand your audience better. Now, if this is your first time to this channel and you're interested in making money online as an affiliate marketer, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So we are going to be using this quiz page as an example to build a quiz page for the easy battery reconditioning, which is a ClickBank product. The idea here is to create a page that will ask visitors some simple basic questions that relates to the product. And at the end of the questioning, the visitors will be redirected to the product itself. That is a great but simple way of pre-selling any affiliate products to visitors. You will easily find some examples of landing pages like this that you can customize in the affiliate pages of some of the top performing products on ClickBank. So the website we are going to be using to build our quiz landing page is called Google Sites. Now not very many people know that Google has a platform like this that they offer for free. With the Google site, you don't have to be a designer, a programmer, or an IT specialist to create stunning squeeze learning pages. You can easily view Google sites on most browsers on computers and mobile devices. However, at this time, you can only edit Google site content on computers using Chrome or the Mozilla Firefox browser. To get started, go to site.google.com and click on the create new plus sign here on the bottom right and you will be taken to this page builder. First, you want to give your site a name because what you'll be doing here is building a small website which is going to have just pages made up of the quiz questions. Then what you want to do next is click on the header type here and choose title only because the three other options will make the header area just too big. So by using the other header features here, it will make visitors who are visiting your page to scroll down before seeing your quiz questions, which is what you want to avoid. You want your visitors to see what you want them to see as soon as they land on your quiz landing page. Then where it says page title, you want to enter the title of your quiz landing page. You can further edit the header by clicking on this feature and then select any of these options. Now on the right side here, you'll find some tools that you can use to build your quiz landing page. So you want to click on the text box element here and add your first question if that's how you want to start off. In this case, I'm just going to copy this text from this quiz page example, head over back to my Google site and paste it in this text box area here. And then I'm add another text element here below. Then copy this and add it in the text box and edit it a little by selecting the subheader and bolding it. So now the next step is adding these questions and the different answers to the question. To do that, add another text element and add or type in your question and edit it a little to how you like it to be. Now to add the progress bar, I will drop a link where you can download the progress bar to use on your Google site. 
To add the progress bar, simply click and add the image element here. Then click on upload if you have the image stored on your desktop and upload it. Another way is simply to click on the select image and add the image link right here. You can always position the progress bar to wherever you want it to be. You always have the options to move any of these elements by just clicking on it and moving it wherever you want. Next is adding the variation of answers to your question. To do that, you need to use the button option here. So you want to click on that and type in your answers. Then you want to add a temporal link here. You want to add a temporal link because you will soon be deleting the link when linking the pages. Then to finish up, click on insert to add it on your page. You can also use any of these options here to design your button. After doing all that, you want to do the same with the rest of the answers you want to add on the page. Now to complete my quiz learning page, I would like to add an image on the right side. Now that the front end of your quiz learning page is complete, what you should do now is duplicate the page and edit the questions with another question. And you want to do the same thing to all the questions you want to ask on your quiz learning page. So each question is going to have its own unique page. In this case, I'm going to add one more page. You also want to make sure that you change the progress bar in relation to the pages so that viewers will be able to see that they are progressing and the questions will soon be done with. Next is linking the pages to the answers of your questions. The idea here is to link each question to a preceding page so that no matter what the visitor choose as an answer on the front page, it will lead them to the second question or page. To do that, simply click on the answer button and select the second page below here. Now you can only link to different pages after creating the pages. On the second page, you also want to do the same thing by linking the answers to the next page. Now on the final page, you want to thank your visitors for taking action and then link them to your caption page or directly to your affiliate offer. So since I was using this quiz page as an example, I'll just copy this text from the end page and add it to mine. Now before I forget, you also have to take note that you can change the theme of your design by clicking on the theme option here and choosing any of these designs and colors. When you think your squeeze landing page is finished and set to go, you can publish it online by clicking on the publish button here at the top right. And that's how easy it is to create a squeeze landing page for free using Google Sites. And with all that, I hope this was another helpful video. If so, hit the like button below, share on your preferred social site and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another helpful video.